welcome back. Today's assignment is the alignment procedures of the Cobra 2000. Up until now, we've been able to get away with just using a screwdriver and a soldering gun, but with the alignment procedures, you're going to have to spend a little bit of money and get some test equipment. You don't have to buy the brand new thousands of dollars worth of test equipment. There's a lot of stuff out there you can find on eBay or um, you know within your local town. You could, you know if you search around and you shop, you can find stuff for a for a cheaper price. And uh, in my case here, you know I shopped around. I got some stuff off eBay, and uh, it's all stuff that uh, is sufficient enough to uh, to do the alignments on the uh, unit here. So I'll show you what I've got, some basics you'll need. First off, you'll need an oscilloscope. This particular one was purchased pre-eBay. It's an HP, it's a DC to 50 megahertz, dual trace. So those are some of the basic specs that you're gonna need for a uh, oscilloscope. And uh, you know, $200, you should be able to uh, get a respectable one moving up the ladder here. I've got a signal generator. I don't know if you'll be able to find this one. I did get this off eBay and uh, I got this for under a hundred dollars. It's a uh, you know 520 megahertz signal generator. It's a lab type equipment and uh, it, it it's definitely overkill for what I need to do but uh, you can find a signal generator for same price uh, probably not what I paid but probably seems like the normal price that I was expecting to pay was around two hundred dollars so you just have to shop around and uh, pick your moments for that and moving over here I've got a frequency counter I just recently got this it's a eight digits uh, brand new bought it from a place uh, not through eBay but uh, found it on the internet circuit specialists and what I discovered was it seemed to be the best value for the money that was about a hundred and well you know uh, let me do some I'm, I'm converting in my head what it cost me to get it here but uh, the retail price was about seventy dollars US and then add on shipping and whatever but that's that's a damn good price for a brand new frequency counter eight digit uh, so that works fine and then just below that uh, you don't need that piece of test equipment, but that was another s snipe super deal that I found was a spectrum analyzer as well. So that just checks for uh, on your output for um, harmonics and if you're generating uh, too much garbage. But that one's not as important. And then I have a, uh, a tuner, and that's got a built-in dummy load there, so you use that for the uh, transmitting part. So. That's the equipment. Oh, and of course, I move up the ladder here. Uh, digital meter is important as well, too. So having a decent uh, multimeter is also a requirement. So that's the gear that you're going to need to do a successful alignment. If you don't have that, then you're taking it into the shop and getting them to do it. So. You'll also need procedures. If you have the gear, you'll need some procedures as to what to do. And they're readily available on the internet. If you can't find them, you can email me and I could get those out to you. So there's a VCO, PLL alignment. And also there's the transmitter, TX alignment. And then RX alignment. You'll also need some non-metal tuning wands and that's basically all our prerequisites I'm not going to go through all of the alignments but I'm, I'm going to show you some of the highlights and some of the gear that uh, will be displaying the values so stay tuned okay as you can see with the scope probe here I am hooked up to test point one. I apologize again for this uh, camera it doesn't have a uh, focus and it doesn't work perfectly at uh, macro stages but that's giving you a rough idea. So I'm hooked up to test point one. I'm on channel one and 
uh, I'll show you what the scope is showing. So why we need a scope is we get a signal like this and we want to uh, adjust our uh, coils, inductors, for maximum signal. So there's a number of these kind of test points that we need to do. So that's where our scope comes in, into play. Uh, let me take my scope probe and I'm going to hook it up to my frequency counter here. And on this test point 1, I should have a value here of 347650. So you can see with this 8-digit counter, we're pretty damn close. If I change the gate time here, So that's an example of having a, uh, a good frequency counter. So you're going to need that. Not uh, overly expensive. And lastly, if you look at the meter on the left, that's my signal meter, you can see that I have an S9 level there, dead on. Well, as far as I consider dead on. And uh, I've got this tuned to... Uh, channel 19 frequency and this is where the signal, gener signal generator comes into play. I've just hooked up a cable to the output, the antenna, and I'm hooked up to my signal generator here and I'm spitting out a signal here 27185 at 30% modulation AM and at a level of 100 microvolt. So that's where the signal generator comes into play for aligning your receiver. So you want to have one of those as well too. And the last piece of test gear that I'll show you that I have that I find is a part of the standard group of stuff you need is a dummy load, something for the output, and a power meter. I don't have a fancy digital meter. I don't need to know that I have exactly 4.79 watts going out. I'm just looking for a, you know, a rough estimate. That's that's good enough for me. Uh, so let me just uh, key my system up here. I'm on channel 40. And if I look closely on the built-in meter, we can see I've got about 1.5-ish uh, watts dead key on AM. And if I take a look at my MFJ tuner up here, you know, it's showing me a rough value as well, too. So this particular unit will go up to 300 watts. And as I said, you know, it does have a built-in dummy load, which I find is uh, nice and handy. So right here, dummy load setting. And of course, when I get a antenna hooked up to it. So when this is all done, said and done, I've got these additional antenna, uh, antenna tuning controls as well too. So I really like that uh, unit as well too. I got that off eBay. So that pretty well sums up uh, all the test equipment I have. And um, good luck with your tuning.